So for this first of three videos for today, we'll take a look at how things move in two dimensions. And what we're going to do is we're going to go through an example problem of you wanting to go from Detroit to Windsor. So this is the Detroit River shown here. This is the United States, the city of Detroit. This is Canada, the city of Windsor. And yes, this is correct. Uh, the United States is actually north of Canada at this part of Michigan. So uh, what happens is uh, you are here and you want to get across the river. Now there is a bridge which you cannot take uh, at the moment because uh, the Canadians won't let us in due to COVID-19. There's a tunnel which again you can't take because well the same deal. Uh, you can't take a boat. Um, honestly you really can't take a boat ever due to border security. Uh, so let's say you're going to go ahead and try and sneakily swim across at night, which is a horrible idea and should be attempted by nobody ever. Uh, so what happens is you are going to swim across the river. The river has a strong current. Uh, I know this number is probably way too fast, but just for the sake of this problem, we're going to go with three meters per second. Uh, you are able to swim directly south at 1.5 meters per second. So you couldn't even swim upstream in this particular case. Uh, what's going to happen is instead of you swimming directly across and landing here, that's not going to happen, you are going to be pulled by the current westward as you continue to swim south and you'll land here. So if I were to tell you that the river, just for the sake of argument, is 800 meters across, the question that I have for you is how far is that river going to pull you as you swim across uh, to the southern shore and land in Windsor? So what we have to do is we have to treat the events that are happening in the x direction separate from the events that are happening in the y direction. Uh, first thing I want to point out is in this particular question the acceleration is zero for the x acceleration is zero for the y. It's a two-dimensional question in which we don't have any acceleration. There's no gravity involved in this because we're doing north, south, east, west, not right, left, up, down. I also want to point out when you think about the big three equations, the first equation is not going to be helpful to us because with an acceleration of zero, you're left with v equals v naught. Oops, that should give v naught. The third equation will also be uh, useless to you because with the acceleration equal to zero you'll still be left with v squared equals v naught squared which should be equals v naught and yeah of course v squared equals v naught squared so these two aren't going to be any help to us whoops uh, these two won't be any help to us so we'll get rid of them now what is useful to us is the third equation which we'll put here uh, delta x is v initial t plus one half a t squared. But even this can be simplified to just saying delta x equals v naught t. So I'm going to have questions for your x direction behavior and for your y direction behavior. In the x direction, you have a velocity of negative 3. It's negative because it's to the left and 3 because, well, it's 3. Your distance traveled, that's unknown. In the y direction, we have a velocity of negative 1.5, negative because it's pointing down or south, and then the delta y of negative 800. Again, for the same reason, you're traveling south. So the negatives, just to reiterate, do not make a difference between um, large or small. They just establish a direction. So what I can say for the y direction is delta y is v initial t. So negative 800 equals negative 1.5 t. At this point, you'll see that your two negatives are definitely going to cancel out. We just do 800 divided by 1.5, and, and we're going to get 533. So what this tells us is it will take you 533 seconds to swim across the Detroit River. Now, the one thing the x and y directions are permitted to share is time. So solving the time 
for the y direction means I also know the time for the x direction. If the river was pulling you west for 533 seconds, that's because you were trying to swim south for 533 seconds. So delta x is v naught t. So delta x will be negative 3 times 533. And we're going to get a negative number, which is fine. We're supposed to. And we'll get negative 160 meters. That negative means west. It means that you were pulled west 160 meters. So if your target, I'm sorry, that should not be 160. That should be 1,600, negative 1,600 meters. So what happens is if you wanted to land at, say, mm, there's a shop right here that you would like to land at. What you should do is you should stand directly across from it in the river, walk down 1,600 meters. Once you do that, hop in the water, and then start swimming due south while the river pulls you west. Again, you should never attempt this, and I advise nobody ever, ever to do this. And if you do and you get hurt, it's your fault.